So, sir, today I am actually privileged to share with you uh, one of the talks that was given by President uh, uh, Russell M. Nelson, not, not, not Russell Nelson, Russell M. Ballard, sorry, uh, one of the apostles whom actually we, we understand that he just passed away. Uh, he passed away last, uh, last Sunday. And uh, our hearts and our condolences are with the family. And he was one of the greatest, uh, greatest uh, uh, servants of the Lord. And I remember uh, he visited Nairobi at one time, and that was the time I was in the mission. And he visited Nairobi, and that was the time I was privileged even to shake his hands. Now, this is one of the greatest talks that will always actually uh, put me in memory of this wonderful apostle. Uh, of the things that he taught and uh, this is actually I could say a message that he has just left me with and I would like to invite you so that uh, we listen together uh, uh, this message otherwise uh, welcome thank you choir for singing faith in every footstep the music and words of that song were written in 1996 by brother Newell Daly in preparation for the celebration of the 150th anniversary of the arrival of the early pioneers to the Salt Lake Valley in 1847. Although this song was written in preparation for that celebration, its message applies to the whole world. I've always loved the chorus. With faith in every footstep, we follow Christ the Lord, and filled with hope through his pure love, we sing with one accord. Brothers and sisters, I testify that as we follow Jesus Christ with footsteps of faith, there is hope. There is hope in the Lord Jesus Christ. There is hope for all in this life. There is hope to overcome our mistakes, our sorrows, our struggles, and our trials and our troubles. There is hope in repentance and being forgiven and forgiving others. I testify that there is hope and peace in Christ. He can carry us today through difficult times. He did it for the early pioneers, and he will do it now for each one of us. This year marks the 175th anniversary of the arrival of the early pioneers to the Salt Lake Valley, which has caused me to reflect on my ancestors, some of whom walked from Nauvoo to the Salt Lake Valley. I have great-grandparents who walked the plains in their youth. Henry Ballard was 20 years old, Margaret McNeil was 13, and Joseph S. Smith, who later became the sixth president of the church, was just nine when he arrived in the Salt Lake Valley. They faced deprivations of every kind along the trail such as cold winters, illness, and lack of adequate food and clothing. For instance, when Henry Ballard entered the Salt Lake Valley, he rejoiced in seeing the promised land, but lived in fear that someone might see him because his clothing he was wearing was so worn out that it did not completely cover his body. He hid himself behind bushes all day until dark, and then went to a house and begged for clothing so that he could continue his journey and locate his parents. He was thankful to God that he had reached his future home in safety. My great-grandparents followed Jesus Christ with footsteps of faith throughout each of their trials. I'm grateful to them for never giving up. Their footsteps of faith have blessed me and subsequent, subsequent generations, just as your footsteps of faith today 
will bless your posterity. The word pioneer is both a noun and a verb. As a noun, it can mean a person who is among the first to explore or settle a new territory. As a verb, it can mean to open or prepare the way for others to follow. As I think about pioneers who have prepared the way for others, I first think of the prophet Joseph Smith. Joseph was a pioneer because his footsteps of faith led him to a grove of trees where he knelt in prayer and opened the way for us to have the fullness of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Joseph's faith to ask of God on that spring morning, 1820, opened the way for the restoration of the fullness of the gospel of Jesus Christ that included prophets and apostles called to serve on earth once again. I know Joseph Smith is a prophet of God. I know his faith-filled footsteps led him to kneel in the presence of God the Father and his beloved Son, Jesus Christ. The prophet Joseph's footsteps of faith enabled him to be the Lord's instrument in bringing forth the Book of Mormon, which is another testament of Jesus Christ and his atoning grace. Through Joseph's faith and perseverance in the face of incredible hardship and opposition, he was able to be an instrument in the hands of the Lord in establishing the Church of Jesus Christ once again on the earth. During the last General Conference, I spoke about how my full-time missionary service blessed me. I was blessed as I taught about Heavenly Father's glorious plan of salvation, Joseph Smith's first vision, and his translation of the Book of Mormon. These restored teachings and doctrine guided my footsteps of faith and teaching those who were willing to listen to the message of the restoration of the gospel. Our missionaries today are modern day pioneers because they share the glorious message with people around the world, thus opening the way for our Heavenly Father's children to know Him and His Son, Jesus Christ. Accepting the gospel of Jesus Christ opens a way for everyone to prepare for and receive ordinances and the blessings of the church and the temple. Last General Conference, President Russell M. Nelson reaffirmed that the Lord has asked every worthy, able young man to prepare for servant to serve a mission, and that a mission is also a powerful but optional opportunity for young and able sisters. Dear young men and young women, your footsteps of faith will help you to follow the Lord's invitation to serve missions, to be modern day pioneers by opening the way for God's children to find and stay on the covenant path leading back to his glorious presence. President Nelson has been a pioneer in the church. As an apostle, he has traveled to and opened many lands for the preaching of the gospel. Shortly after becoming the prophet and president of the church, he pled with us to increase our spiritual capacity to receive revelation. He continues to teach us to strengthen our testimonies in a devotional for young adults, he said. I plead with you to take charge of your testimony. Work for it, own it, care for it, nurture it, so it will grow. Then watch for miracles to happen in your life." Close quote. He's teaching us how to become more spiritually self-reliant. He has said that in coming days, 
it will not be possible to survive spiritually without the guiding, directing, comforting, and constant influence of the Holy Ghost. I testify that President Russell M. Nelson is the prophet of God on the earth today. Our Savior Jesus Christ is the ultimate pioneer in preparing the way. Indeed, he is the way for the plan of salvation to be accomplished so that we can repent and through faith in him return to our Heavenly Father. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. He's promised to not leave us comfortless. He will come to us in our trials. He has invited us to come unto him with full purpose of heart, and he shall heal us. I testify that Jesus Christ is our Savior and our Redeemer, our Advocate with the Father. Our Heavenly Father has opened the way for us to return to Him by following His beloved Son, Jesus Christ, with faith in every footstep. My great-grandparents and early pioneers faced many obstacles as they came by wagons, hand carts, and walking to the Salt Lake Valley. We too will face challenges in our individual journeys through our lives. We're not pushing hand carts or driving covered wagons over steep mountains and through deep snow drifts. We're trying as they did to spiritually overcome the temptations and challenges of our day. We have trails to walk. We have hills and sometimes mountains to climb. Although the challenges today are different than those in the early pioneers, that the ones they had are no less challenging for us. It is important to follow the prophet and keep our feet firmly planted on the covenant path of faithfulness as it was for the early pioneers. Let us follow Jesus Christ with faith in every footstep. We need to serve the Lord and serve one another. We need to strengthen ourselves spiritually by keeping and honoring covenants. We should not lose the sense of urgency to keep the commandments. Satan tries to dull our commitment and our love for God and the Lord Jesus Christ. Please remember that if anyone should lose their way, we'll never be lost to our Savior. With the blessing of repentance, we can turn to Him. He will help us learn, grow, change as we strive to stay on the covenant path. May we ever follow in the footsteps of Jesus Christ and with faith in our every footstep, focus on Him, keeping our feet firmly planted on the covenant path. It is my humble prayer in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. The wise counsels from uh, Apostle Russell M. Ballard, and uh, this is one of the conferences that uh, he actually admonished a lot of us, and especially members of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, uh, to build up their testimonies, to ensure they uh, become more closer to the Savior. And uh, he also reminded us, just like the way the, uh, the prophet, uh, President Nelson, actually reminded the Church uh, during the General Conference uh, that uh, this is the time that the saints need to be more more spiritual and they should strive forth even to be uh, diligent enough 
to be more spiritual so that they can feel the presence of our, of our Heavenly Father and the Spirit of God closer to them. Now, I like when he began, he began by actually, you know, giving the history of the pioneers. And, and for members of the church, for those who are members of the church, they understand what the church history is all about. Uh, they understand how the pioneers really sacrificed a lot uh, for the church to be where it is today. And he mentions that one of his great, one of his grandfathers or great-grandparents uh, somebody called Henry Ballard who was actually among the pioneers who participated in moving to the West uh, to go and establish the church. And he says during that time, even one of the sons of the, of the prophet was prophet, who was actually the prophet uh, later. He was, a, uh, he was a, around nine years old when his grandfather Henry Ballard was around 14 years old. Uh, that was the prophet Joseph S. Smith. And, 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 and you can imagine that great sacrifice that those saints actually made in ensuring that uh, they heed to the prophet's call and uh, leave everything behind and, and follow what the prophet was actually telling them. And, and, and that was an eminent sacrifice one can ever do uh, in this life one of the greatest sacrifices that one can ever do. And, and, and I'm telling you when, you, when you read the church history and then you read what these pioneers have gone through, you will actually be, be, be amazed of what these this wonderful brothers and sisters actually did. And, and, and you will be very sorry for what they actually went through. Okay, It took a lot of sacrifice for them to, to do that. And that was just simply because Heavenly Father had actually commanded them through the prophet on what they were supposed to do. Now, the other thing Apostle Ballard is telling us is that uh, we should actually, uh, especially young men and, and, and young women, they should actually have a desire to go serve a mission. And he says that he was very much blessed when he actually served his mission. And I remember reading one of his books, that is called Search for Happiness. And I, I, I'll, I'll challenge, uh, I will encourage uh, anyone. He, that is a book worth reading. It's a book worth actually looking for. And uh, President Ballard is actually giving uh, wonderful experiences during his missions and how the Spirit actually administered, administered to him when he was still a young missionary. And there were quite a number of challenges which were spiritually, are bringing and they will actually open your insights uh, for you to be able to understand what the mission field is all about and how we can actually be blessed when we we serve our missions especially as young men and young women uh, and that is very key because in the church the lord is calling us to be all missionaries and we can serve missions in our own capacities but it is actually a uh, a uh, 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 vital and it is actually a commandment for a young man or a young woman who is at the age of serving a mission as a young man that opportunity is provided for them to go and serve a mission so that they can have a relationship with the savior uh, before they start thinking of other things in life and and, and 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 i can attest to that because for me also mission has really blessed me the mission has really helped me to be able to understand people and to be able also to actually uh, uh, you know, relate with the Savior more because out of mission I was able to develop the love of my scriptures and even to be able to appreciate my parents more. So mission really, really helps and, and, and also it brings your divine nature. You end up understanding who you are and what exactly Heavenly Father requires of you. And that is one of the greatest key things for actually our young men and our young women to uh, consider okay, serving a mission. Now, the other thing is that uh, he is actually encouraging us that uh, the gospel of Jesus Christ is a standard and uh, each one of us is a pioneer in our own way. okay. And he said one of the greatest and the first pioneers of the church was the prophet Joseph Smith. That is when he read the scriptures from the book of James and he went and had that experience of the first vision. That one made him a pioneer, 
okay that he made him a pioneer of the gospel in his own way now each one of us are pioneers on our own way you can be a pioneer when you are serving your mission you can be a pioneer when you are serving in the church on a specific calling you can also be a pioneer in different ways even in your own family you can be a pioneer and he says in one way or the other we are pioneers of the gospel in one way or the other and and, and all that we need to do is that we ensure that we listen uh, to that still small voice when he it calls uh, and that is what he says and he, he gave a very wonderful example there of the prophet Rosalem Nelson how he was has been a pioneer as an apostle of the Lord and and he has actually been able to actually open and dedicate countries for the for the for the for the for the for the gospel to be to be preached in those countries and 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 that is so key and that is actually mind opening for us to be able to to know that uh, in one way or the other heavenly father will use us as pioneers uh, in our own way and i know what the apostle has said it's actually very true that ours is uh, to hearken unto his last words when he says uh, that we need to build that relationship with the savior more so that we can feel of his spirit because we are living uh, in perilous times and these are the times whereby we need to be able to actually uh, seek after the lord and, and and have that relationship with him and i liked lastly what he actually reminded us of what the prophet uh, russell m nelson spoke in one of the general conferences and president nelson said that in the last days and this is a prophecy not only to the members of the church but this is also a prophecy to everyone in the world and this is what the prophet said that in the last days days are coming ahead here okay they are coming they are coming days whereby it will be very difficult for one to really you know uh, feel of the spirit and, and and to live of these principles because of what exactly is happening in the world there's a lot of things that are ha really happening and the, 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 there comes a time or there are days that are coming that it will be very difficult for people to feel the spirit of god and he encouraged that uh, this is the time for us to learn to start listening to that still small voice and 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 building that relationship with the savior those words were key those words were actually spiritual and very powerful they were very prophetic and it, it, they, they, they are words that are were not actually directed only uh, to the members of the church of jesus christ of latter day saints but these are words that were directed to all uh, men and women who are actually living in this mortal life that they should know and understand that we are heading towards difficult times and uh, and that the only way for us uh, to be safe is to ensure that we uh, conduct ourselves in a manner that the spirit will always be able to administer to us and it will be able also to commune with us and i know what president ballard has said is true and uh, i know that if we keep these principles and we follow what he says then the spirit of god will always be with us and uh, and as this time now as even members of the church are mourning and uh, uh, especially to the families uh, who have lost this great leader uh, we condole with them our our condole we condole with them and uh, we pray that uh, heavenly father will comfort the families and uh, will also be able to give them strength as they strive forth even to leave his legacy and to follow the principles that he has been teaching otherwise i know that one is true and i say this in the name of our lord jesus christ amen otherwise thank you my brothers and sisters for your wonderful time and even for taking time to be with us here and i pray that heavenly father will always be with us as we strive forth even to hearken to what the apostle has actually taught and until next time i will only i uh, encourage those that are, are watching us and they have not maybe subscribed we are actually asking for your support please make sure you subscribe and hit a thumbs up and help us also so that we may reach this target we are only striving to get at least a thousand subscribers and we are requesting you uh, to subscribe otherwise thank you very much and 
See you next time.